Hey guys, this is Jay, and welcome back to a new video. So here are the topics we'll be going over. We'll do a brief recap on Theo's auto reaction and a bit more to it. We will also talk about Cope rearrangement and Clayson rearrangement. In Theo's auto reaction, thiene and thionophil come together to form a ring. At higher temperature, the reactant is favored, and at lower temperature, the product is favored. This is because at higher temperature, delta G becomes more positive favoring the reactant. At lower temperature, delta G becomes more negative, favoring the product. The dienophil is usually electron deficient and has alkene or alkyne as some kind of pi bond. If the dienophil has cis substituents in alkene, then those substituents will show as sin on the product. If they're trans, then they will show up as anti. Diene is usually electron rich, and only S cis diene is reactive. Normally, S trans and S cis can convert into one another because the sigma bond between the double bonds are capable of rotating. But some S trans can't convert into S cis because they're in a ring. Those are called log S trans, and they're not reactive. Log S cis dienes tend to be pretty reactive. The other reaction can also have exo or endo addition. The exo product is when the dienophil substituents are pointing away from the alkene of the ring. Another way to look at it is if the external group from the diene that isn't part of the ring and the substituents from the dienophil are pointing into different directions, then they're exo addition. So here we see the hydrogen and the cyanide are pointing differently, so this is exo. Exo is a thermodynamic product because it is more stable as the substituents are pointing away kind of like equatorial in a cyclohexane. When the dienophil substituents are pointing relatively more inward from the alkene of the ring, then it is endo. Similar to earlier, another way to look at it is if the external group from the diene and the dienophil substituents are pointing the same way. If they are, then they're endo. So here, the hydrogen and the cyanide are pointing the same way. This is the kinetic product because of the lower energy in transition state due to a favorable electrostatic interaction. The endo product here is the major product because it has a lower energy transition state. So recall that thermodynamic product is favored at a higher temperature. So would the exo product be favored at a higher temperature? No, it wouldn't because higher temperature favors retro diosolar reaction. So the ring wouldn't form. Okay, so retro synthesis with diosolar reaction. So we can draw theory arrows like these, like how we did for a diosolar reaction to kind of make a reverse reaction. Keep in mind that all the rules we went over still apply. So the methyl and cyanide are in anti-position of the product, but they would be trans when they're in a dienophil form. Cobra rearrangement is a cyclic movement of electrons rearranging bonds to make the alkene more substituted. So here's an example. We move the bonds around to make this alkene more substituted, from monosubstituted to disubstituted. Clayson rearrangement is very similar, except we use oxygen instead. So here we form a carbonyl in the product while making this alkene more substituted. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.